What's up everybody, Coach Kendall Ray, aka A Walking Testimony, walking across America for mental health awareness and recovery, here to let all of you know that you matter, we do recover, God is good all the time. Um, we're walking across America in remembrance of people who have lost their lives to mental health and recovery issues, drug overdose and or suicides, um, etc., things like that. Um, also for the ones that are currently struggling, that are heading down a path of destruction, um, leading themselves to an early grave. It's something that sadly enough is so real in so many communities all across the world. Um, I don't just walk because people are struggling or because people are losing their lives. Um, as somebody who should not be standing here right now, in the last 16 years of my life, I've personally dealt with depression, addiction, and a life of crime. I've tried to take my life twice, I've overdosed um, quite a few times. I've been in county jail 11 times and I've been in prison twice. I'm 31 years old with 13 felony convictions on my record and a bunch of misdemeanors. Um, I don't say that to boast. I'm not proud of that or anything like that, but I am proud of who the, I am today. Um, it took uh, my second prison sentence, two and a half years into a five-year prison sentence for something to click in my head for me to change my life. Um, now backtrack to 2013, I was doing a year in county jail and I came across a newspaper article titled America on Foot about a guy named Harrison Melanian who had walked from Tallahassee, Florida to Laguna Beach, California, I believe. And I fell in love with the story, knew I wanted to walk across America. Um, just took a long time before I got my life right and actually in a position to do it. Um, if I would have started walking back then, it wouldn't have been for the causes I'm walking for. And you know, it's... It's, it stinks that I had to go through everything that I did, but it did transform me into the man that I am today to be able to come out here for the causes that I'm walking for. And not just because there's issues out there, but as somebody who's personally been through it. Um, I started with my feet in the Atlantic Ocean uh, less than two months after getting out of prison after changing my life. Like I said, two and a half years in, something clicked to change my life. Um, I had over two years to work on myself really, really hard. Um, my last year in work release, I remembered that I wanted to walk across America. Then I was like, what can I walk for? Uh, through social media, I was seeing every day a post on a Facebook about somebody losing their lives to a drug overdose or suicide. And I was like, wow, this is happening way too much. As somebody who has been um, through that and wanting to walk across America, this is what I should walk for. I started posting about it on Facebook and everything fell together. Um, I did 13 states, 3,292 miles across from uh, Jacksonville Beach, Florida to Long Beach, Washington. I walked through Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, Utah, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. After I put my feet in Long Beach, Washington, I then walked um, up the 101 to uh, La Push, Washington, hiked all the beaches. Then I walked up to... Uh, Clowlin Bay over to Lake Rosette, hiked that all the way down to Cape Palava, hiked the beach down there, and then I took um, the highway all the way the rest of the way to the most northwestern point, um, Nia Bay, um, to hit Cape Flattery, which is that most northwestern point of the United States. On my way back down to Long Beach, I met some bikers outside of Forks that were biking all four corners, and that's when I was like, yo, I want to bike all four corners. So um, now I am heading down to San Diego, then I will uh, to the border of San Diego, then I'll come up a little bit so I don't go the border the whole way across. Um, and then I'll do another coast back to Jacksonville Beach, Florida, coast to coast. And then I will go down to the Keys and then up the East Coast to Maine. I'm almost 5,000 miles in as at this point, it is Thursday, May 23rd, 1152. I'm at Esalon right here in Big Sur right now doing this video. Um, but I've been sitting here thinking about the things I want to accomplish for mental health and recovery just to show other people that they can um, overcome those struggles that I've gone through. I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the solutions. Yes, I took a recovery coach class, but um, that kind of gives me the opportunity to open my own um, chapter of a nonprofit organization called Addict to Athletes if I'm settled down somewhere. So at this point, I'm not really in that position, guys. I'm not a therapist. I don't have any degrees like that. And I can't sit here and tell anybody what to do with their lives. All I can do is kind of share my life um, and just kind of share what I've done um, to help myself while just trying to be a positive through all the hard times that life might have to offer, just pushing through. I'm doing something drastic like walking across America. But these are the things I want to accomplish for mental health awareness. 
and recovery. I want to finish walking all the four corners of America, of course. Um, I think it would be epic to do 100 miles on all seven continents. Um, I know it'd be complicated a little more in Antarctica. Um, I know that would be like a crazy trip and have to be like specially planned, but, uh, I think I can make it happen a hundred miles on each continent. Um, that would take uh, a lot of help to make happen, but I think we can do it. Um, I also want to hike the Triple Crown. The Triple Crown is the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and the Continental Divide. Um, three major mountain passes. Every single one of them, I believe the shortest one is like 23 or 4 or 2,600 miles or something like that. The longest one, I think, is 3,200 miles. These are basically trails in the mountains that go from Canada to Mexico um, through the states. They're really, really epic, and I would love to do that. Now, before all that happens, in the process of walking America, I really want to start a podcast. I know some of y'all have seen me recently post about now that I have my license back, I still have over 5,000 miles to walk, but I am trying to um, get an RV, and there's been some people reach out about having me um, start a fundraiser for that that would like to help out, and that is a possibility. I just want people to know that this journey is not money-driven, but that type of stuff does help me go to make this journey as epic as we can for all of those people that feel like there's no hope, that feel like there's no faith in humanity. This journey really does show that. Um, it's not about me. It's about mental health and recovery. I am the one that has sacrificed to put myself in the position to walk all of these miles. And um, I went through a lot of crazy stuff, especially in the first four months. I got a hernia surgery. I almost had my cart stolen. I had two broken carts. I just went through all kinds of stuff. Um, I've walked through through hail and rain and snow in the mountains and the Rockies. My first time ever seeing snow. Um, guys, I, I understand what the struggle is, guys. Um, but I'm so thankful to be in the position that I am. And I just want to take it to the next level to show somebody else hope, to hopefully inspire somebody else to want to change their life to um, better themselves. I know there's nothing I can do to personally change anybody's lifestyle or mindset. I just want to be um, a positive example um, to show people that you can, you can take a bad past of um, addiction and crime and depression, turn it around and go out there and try to live your absolute best life. Um, I do want to open my own chapter of Addict to Athlete, but that might take a while um, before I actually settle down. We'll see what happens with that, but I love Addict to Athlete so much. They actually donated me a MacBook laptop that I am working on my book with, and they will be getting a percentage of all proceeds from my book when that happens. Um, I also want to be a motivational speaker. Um, I think I've spoken with three different schools, at least 30 to 40 different recovery things. I know that doesn't seem like a lot with all the towns I've been in, but it's kind of hard to set all that stuff up. Um, I've done a couple different events, and I think I've spoken in three churches as well since the beginning in January um, 2022. In over two years. Um, I would like to take that to the next level and start speaking more. It's not about doing it for a check or anything like that. I'm blessed. I do get a check from Facebook. Um, I'm not making tons of money, but it does help a little bit to do this journey. Um, but there's so many people that help this journey in another other ways that um, man, I'm just so very thankful and grateful for all of y'all. But um, I would love to start getting more speaking events. I put out a, um, a virtual flyer and I'm going to start sharing it more, but I would love to get more help with that. Um, I, each adventure I go on, um, the Triple Crown, if I can do the 100 miles on each continent, and like I said, I already started on it for Walking Across America. I want to do a book about each one. Um, but in the process of all this, I do want to help people to start living their dreams. If I do ever start my own um, nonprofit organization, it'll be based on mental health and helping people live their dreams. Um, you know, like one of those make a wish foundations or something like that, like people to help um, people that have struggled with mental health or depression or things like that, um, be able to do things that um, that they would only be able to do if they weren't effective, whatever way they might be. I don't know. I just, I want to see people be able to live their dreams. Uh, sometimes it takes a lot of sacrifice. Sometimes it's so scary to take that leap of faith, to take that jump. Um, but I want to show people that it's okay to do that. Um, as long as you are thinking safety wise, guys, I know I do some extreme stuff. Um, I know sometimes I worry all with some of the ways 
that I live my life. I am just an adrenaline person. That's the way I live my life. I, I never hope to trigger anybody or, or disrespect anybody with some of the crazy stuff that I do. Um, but just know as somebody who has tried to take my life twice, I love life to the absolute fullest. And you will never, ever, ever see me um, want to ever take my life again. So if you see me doing crazy stuff, just know I'm just living in the moment. I'm thankful for all the life that I've gotten because I shouldn't be here numerous times over and over and over. Not everybody gets that chance. And that's why I want to come out here and show people to live their best lives because um, I'm thankful for that chance. And I used to take it for granted for so much, but now I don't. Or I used to take it for granted so much, but now I don't. Um, but in the process of walking across America, I think it would be cool to find the sponsors, guys. And if anybody knows any mental health organizations or recovery organizations or businesses that would like to, um, you know, hop on board and try to help this, guys. I don't want people just to come out of their personal checks and stuff like this. I want people that are invested in mental health and recovery in that type of way. If, if you have nonprofits or businesses or something and, and are looking for a way to help do something drastic, guys, please help think about possibly sponsoring to make it happen where we can do the Triple Crown to get the supplies to hike the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and the Continental Divide. Um, think about helping sponsor um, for walking 100 miles on all seven continents. I would need help with um, planning for, for food, lodging, and plane tickets, guys. Just sponsorships like that, guys. I'm not asking for people to come out of their own personal pockets, but if you have businesses and organizations that would like to donate or sponsor or support in that type of way, please reach out and let me know. We want to take this to the next level. We want to do as much as we absolute can while walking all four corners. Now, whatever we don't get accomplished in the middle of walking all four corners, of course, we'd love to do after. Um, but guys, guys, please help me do this and help me uh, help me make it happen where we can start a podcast, where I can start interviewing other people who have been affected by mental health and recovery, um, who have changed their lives to help um, share it with others, guys. I love you all so very much. Please never forget that you matter. We do recover. God is good all the time. Um, you all have value and purpose, and I, and I know I'm so repetitive with a lot of the things I say, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Guys, um, love y'all. Please share this journey. If you're, if you're not following, if, please follow the journey. If you're on YouTube, just like following on Instagram or whatever, if you hit that subscribe button, it's free. Um, please follow. But if you see this on, on Facebook or, or through Instagram or whatever, I know I'm posting on YouTube, but if it happens to get shared anywhere else, guys, please follow this journey. Um, Instagram and YouTube, both a underscore walking underscore testimony. My Facebook is just a walking testimony. Um, guys, show some love. God bless. You matter. We do recover. Have a wonderful day.